Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from IBG models. Um, it's a 170 second scale aircraft kit and as you can see it copies Peza L37B2. It's lost Polish bomber in small scale which should be quite an interesting build. As you can see on the box art this is a twin engine um, aircraft. And now we have a chance to check commercial samples, so it means you'll get exactly the same kit if you order it from ABG Models official website or maybe from any good model shop. So first of all, uh, box size is typical for this kit. Here you can see comparison with my hand. Uh, box art is quite attractive, I would say. Then here on the side you can see some other kits from the same company. Uh, you can find reviews of some of those on our YouTube channel. And here we have safety advices and also address of the manufacturer. On the other side here we have the marking guide. As you can see here manufacturer displayed only two marking options. I hope there will be more. So let's open it. It's a top opening box. So we just lift the lid and here are all the parts. It is quite tight packaging in my opinion. As you can see plastic sprues are separated into several plastic bags. So we are going to start with this one, the biggest one, and it is sealed, so I will need scissors, just give me a second. I'll take them out and we'll open this plastic bag. Meanwhile, let me remind you that you can support us financially. It is easy because it's done via PayPal. Uh, just click the donate button on our website. And another way is to if you are going to buy something through the Amazon, just uh, go to our website, click any link and then find what you wanted to buy. It will also help us a bit in order to get some new photo and video equipment. So here we have first gray plastic sprue. Let's start with this one. As you can see uh, here, manufacturer placed those wing ports and also ailerons, which are molded separately. Um, engine gondolas are molded in, but frontal section of the engine cooling is molded separately. I hope it is molded as a one piece part, we will see. And inside we have some internal detailing. There are no guiding pins as far as you can see, but I think those pink edges will serve as a guiding elements. And now we can do the zoom mode as usual, so that you can see all those parts closer. Let's focus the camera and go. So that was the first sprue and even though the second sprue is also dedicated to wing parts here we also have the four let's say interior four as you can see it is molded as a complex shaped one piece port. We also have here I'm not sure what is this maybe elevator maybe and the internal structure of the wings is absolutely the same as what we saw on the previous pair. Nevertheless let's zoom in and check the cockpit four so that you can see it. It won't be a zoom mode because I don't see a point to do it just for one part. But as you can see, it is nicely molded part. The attachment points are quite thin. So I don't think that you have any problems with uh, this element in your kit. Let's go next. Here we have the clear sprue, which is packed into the separate plastic bag. That's good because you won't have any scratches 
on those parts and that's really important some manufacturers pack the clear elements all together with gray spruce and that's not such a smart decision i would say so let's zoom in here on this bomber um, as you saw on the box art we have the glass nose section so it is replicated like this here we have some other clear elements which should be placed on the aircraft and molding quality is really amazing but the only thing you have to keep in mind is that masks are not included so you have to cut them with your own hands otherwise it will be a bit tricky procedure due to the complex shape of this canopy part but i think it will be possible if you have some experience with such stuff okay i place this part aside and then we go with another set of gray plastic sprues here it is easy to notice that we have some uh, fuselage ports so just give me a second i will cut off the plastic bag and we will open it here okay so what do we have here here abg models placed first of all we have those engine cooling frontal sections right zoom in so that you can see them as you can see molding quality is really nice i will try to increase the iso so that you can see more now i think it should be better so here we have internal um, structure let's say molded as well as you can see through the light and on the rear side you can see that there is no engine inserted inside because engines are molded separately nevertheless molding quality is really good as far as you can see these attachment points points are placed right on the um, external surface of those engine gondolas so be careful and try to separate them without damaging this uh, surface section because otherwise it will be noticeable here we have tail wings and as you can see tail wings are molded with separate elevators let's refocus the camera now we should be able to see it and let's do the zoom mode so that you can see all those parts a bit closer I appreciate that all as the um, attachment points are quite thin and I think it will be easy to separate those parts. Then here we have quite interesting components. Those, as far as I can guess, they will go into uh, air intakes. Here you can see them. And here we have several more. Here you can see them from the other side. And here you can see those air intake parts from the other side. Okay. Next, we have here those parts for the rudder, as far as you can guess. Here you can see them from the other side. But we will have to check assembly manual because I'm not sure where these parts will go. And next, we have visage halves. So both are molded without tail segment. Here you can see some special slots. Note that the uh, left half is molded together with tail leg. And external detailing is quite typical, so we have recessed panel lines and riveting. Here inside we have full internal detailing, which is quite impressive, I would say. In 172nd scale, that's not quite an often feature, I would say, quite a usual feature. And now let's do the zoom mode so that you can see all those features in detail.
<clears throat> so overall quality it looks really good and I don't have any complaints about the switch ports but we have one last plastic bag left here it is it is it has a small bit of extra plastic here nevertheless we still need to cut through this plastic bag in order to open it so just give me a second okay we do it like this then we go here okay so first of all we have as far as you can see these two absolutely identical plastic sprues why because this is a twin engine aircraft so that's why we have the double set obviously here manufacturer placed engine parts propeller the bombs landing gear parts and some other elements from the other side you can see that they're as good molded um, as from the front side nevertheless why i'm a bit confused because engine um, should be detailed outside but as far as you can see there should be PE thread so let's hope it will detail this section as well let's zoom in so that you can take a closer look at all the sports so zoom mode Note that bombs are molded as one piece parts, so you won't have to join any house. Uh, those are ready to be assembled and propeller has quite interesting attachment points right on the blades. And it will require some due care during installation. Next we have the last grey plastic sprue. This one is more concerned with cockpit and also external surfaces. So here we have various panels, also we have pilot seat, walls and some other parts. And molding quality is as good as on the previous sprues. Uh, the only thing I wonder is how detailed cockpit will be, because internal detailing in the fuselage is quite impressive, but I don't see that many cockpit parts. So now let's do the zoom mode. Okay, so as I said, that was the last grey plastic sprue. And now we can move to various bonuses which are included here. So first of all, we have this plastic bag. As you can see, 
Uh, here we have the cows sheet and also we have small p thread. So let's open it and check both in detail. So I'm going to cut through this plastic bag. Okay. Throw away this small piece of plastic bag. And now we just slide out those two. So first of all we have decals. Decals are printed by TechMod. Here we have symbols for several marking options. So as far as you can see, we should have uh, at least two marking options. As you remember, it was depicted on the box. We also have the decal for the dashboard and some minor stencils which should be placed on the aircraft. And next we have also unpainted P thread. So as I hoped, we have some P parts for the engine. That's really good. And also some parts for external detailing here. But I guess this will be under the question, so it will be up to you if you would like to see them on your model or you would like to use the standard plastic parts instead. Now let's bring it a bit back. And here we have assembly manual. So assembly manual is printed in form of this large brochure. As you can see, we have here the paints chart, we have also decals sheet. We have P thread on the parts map. Then the parts map for the plastic parts is here. And next assembly process starts. So we start with this floor panel, as you remember. We install various bombs inside. Then we continue with pilot seat and control cone. Then here, as far as you can see, the rear section with machine gunner uh, seat will be detailed as well. I wonder how it is possible to open all this stuff because this uh, molding in Fuselage House was quite nice so it will be shame to hide it inside. Here we have the assembly of the nose section as you remember that's a clear part and it will be combined with this machine gun parts. Then we install all this stuff on the joint Fuselage House. Tail segment assembly continues here. Here we have the replacement of the actually addition of the P parts to the rear or tail landing gear leg. Those parts will be needed in order to be you know, joined and to copy the engine frontal section. So as you can see, it will be quite an interesting looking assembly. And note that both engines have the separate assembly steps. Why well, I'm a bit confused, I'm reading what is here. So build one of options for the engine cover. So you can choose either you use this K4 or M1 and also E9 or E20. It's a propeller hub. Next we continue with wing parts. And that's surprising that P parts will be used for wheel wells. Next one is a bomb bay. Here we continue with installation of this frontal engine section on the wing. Then we go with various plastic parts. These are actually the bomb bay doors. Here you can see the marking guide. It is printed on the separate sheet of paper. It is printed in color as you can see. Here we have first marking option and here is the second marking option. Both were displayed on the box. Then we continue. Note that you can assemble also a version with closed bomb bays. So it will be up to you which one you would like to replicate. Here the same goes for another wing. So the same steps are repeated. Here you can see the wings installation on the fuselage. Of course I would do first the joining procedure and then install all the bombs, but it will be up to you which, um, which order you choose. Here you can see both versions with open or closed um, bomb base. And next one is a stencil placement, which is printed like this. I'm not sure why, because usually it is shown on the drawing. So in total you have to perform 23 steps and here you can see another marking guide as far as you can guess. So in total there are three marking options and another one four marking options. So four marking options for 170 second scale. That's quite an interesting choice I would say. So as I said this set should be already available for purchase in any 
good model shop or maybe in IBG models website you can go directly there um, in my opinion that's quite unusual subject and I think it will be more interesting than all those typical aircraft kits which we are used to build especially if you consider how many of them are built uh, every year it is worth trying something different so this one might be a perfect opportunity of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit write it here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel you can also check our facebook group and instagram page and i will see you in the next video review as usual bye